All right. Welcome to the magic of art. I'm R.B. Anderson. In today's tip, I'm going to show you how to paint watercolor on any substrate. That's right. You can paint on canvas. If it's not prepared for watercolor already, I'll show you how to prepare it. You can paint on masonite. You can paint on wood. This is the project I started earlier. This is it's already gone through the, the process of preparing it, and I started a, a light wash of watercolor on it. <laughs> if you wanted to, you could even paint on a rock. And it's easy. Three simple steps. First, you'll need a brush, a one and a half, two inch brush, finer if you want some fine detail, like um, the smaller rungs on this. You'll need a gesso. This is a Jerry's Artorama gesso, good quality, it's a great price. And you'll need a watercolor ground. This ground was made by Golden, and it's a cold press ground for coarser textures. Uh, they also make a hot press ground if you want something that's smoother. And that's all it takes. So if you're ready, let's have some fun. Um, we're going to get started and prepare uh, a substrate for watercolor painting. Um, this has already been prepared. It's a watercolor canvas, so we'll put that away for now. And I've already started this. I've prepared this before and started a light wash, so I'll set that aside. So this is a piece of masonite, and I'll show you the easy steps to uh, prepare this. And we'll probably do something with the rock as well. So this is a gesso. And you're going to put, um, first off, you want to put a plastic or paper or something down so you don't get it all over your table. This has got plastic on it. So you're going to want to put um, two, three coats of gesso. And we'll start off just in one direction. just nice smooth even coats. You can put uh, thicker coats on if you want um, and you can even put some texture on here. You want to get crazy and put uh, all kinds of texture and um, see what that does for your watercolor. So there's no end to what you can do with uh, art and that's what makes it so much fun. So let's experiment, play around, see what we come up with. So we'll set that aside and let that dry. And on this one I'm going to put uh, just on the front here, I want to put a little painting on the front of this rock. So that looks like kind of a nice area. And this may only need a couple coats. It's uh, going on pretty smoothly here. And if you wanted to, uh, you could even uh, mask this off, get a smoother, uh, finer edge on it. But uh, I think that'll work fine for what I'm doing. So we'll set those aside, let it dry, and I'll be back in a few minutes. And if you like these videos, please uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, you won't miss a brush stroke see all the tips and lessons that we prepare for the magic of art. So thank you and I'll see you soon as these dry. Alright, uh, welcome back. So um, I am applying the watercolor ground if I can get this open, there we go. Watercolor ground to the uh, rock. I just applied that after two coats of gesso, turning the the board each direction. I applied the ground to that just a little earlier. You don't need to really watch that. It's just just like applying the gesso. 
has about the consistency of, uh, I'd say, fine, maybe ground oatmeal. It's a little different consistency than the gesso, but uh, it goes on just like the gesso. You'll just see a little different finish. So I'm going to apply some to the rock here, following the same outline as I did with the gesso. And I don't really have to see anything new. I mean, it's the same process as applying the gesso, just with a different uh, product. So once that is applied, uh, I'd say add a couple of coats just to make sure that you have a nice consistent coverage. And that's all there is to it. So keep it simple. Once you've got the uh, boards covered, I've already applied this to this. I just saw a couple spots that I wanted to, to cover. Uh, you're ready to watercolor. And with this, I, uh, I had put the first coat of watercolor on this. I'm attempting to create a wave-like pattern or wave feeling coming across the beach. So I'll uh, varnish this eventually or stain it. And then I need to add a little bit more detail to the wave here. And then uh, that'll sit nice with my plants, uh, uh, in, inside plants. It'll look real nice. So, so use your imagination apply watercolor to whatever you want there's another step that you can see in a video protecting your watercolors that you should watch after doing this because if you apply this and set it in the kitchen or next to your plants or something and water splashes on it it's going to hurt the watercolor but i've got a surefire method that will protect the watercolor best thing keep your watercolors out of the sun but uh, look for the video applying um, protection for your watercolor. And um, that'll show you how to cover this with a wax finish, which will protect that. So stay tuned. And if you like these videos, please subscribe. And I will see you all soon. Have a wonderful creative day. Bye-bye.